Hi, I'm Tom Warren, Applications Engineer at Clearfield, and today we're going to be doing a product demonstration video that talks about the Hub Collapse Cabinet. The Hub Collapse Cabinet is used in Hub Collapse applications where a communications provider wishes to close a physical structure and relocate their electronics and fiber termination inside of a small node case. The advantages of this are very obvious. Instead of having to rent a physical structure, now you don't have to pay all the rent and deal with landlords and raise, rising rent costs and things of that nature. It also is less expensive because you don't have to pay for all of the heating, cooling, and other associated costs with maintaining a physical structure. One of the challenges in a hub app collapse application is that there is very small amount of fiber management inside of that node case. So Clearfield has worked with a large OEM out in the industry right now to develop the Hub Collapse Cabinet, which provides an excellent location for optical components, fiber termination, and is a very user-friendly product. Instead of having the technician go out and have to maintain that node case, bring it down off of a pole, or unseal it to get at the fiber terminations, everything's now located inside of a small, easy-to-use, handy cabinet. So in a moment, we'll start talking about all of the features of the outsides of the cabinet itself. The first thing we need to do when taking a look at the hub collapse cabinet is take a look at the outside of the cabinet. The cabinet has a dimensions of 16 by 16 by 32 inches tall, with, and then it also has an optional 4 inch or 12 inch base, depending on the application. If you're in an environment that has a lot of snow or high water type uh, situations, you might want to actually gang up a couple of the risers to get it higher off the ground. In the snowier applications, the 12 inch riser allows the technician to go out to the cabinet and not have to deal with a bunch of blowing snow, things of that nature, snow getting into the inside of the cabinet. An option for the cabinet for external locating is a slide out panel that allows the cable grounds to be tied off inside of the cabinet and now, whenever a locator goes out to locate any of your outside plant cables, you're not allowing the uh, locator to get into the cabinet where your optical components and your, uh, your splicing is going on. So that's a nice advantage in that they're not going to get in there and damage any of your fiber optic connectivity. Another option of the cabinet is if you're going to be pole mounting this cabinet, we can provide cable entry holes on the top of the cabinet. Uh, this is a nice uh, sweep for your cables to come in from the top and enter the cabinet. Uh, again, as I mentioned, it is pole mountable on the side. We have holes that allow this cabinet to be mounted. Since it does have a front and rear door, the pole mount kit attaches to the side of the cabinet. There is front and rear doors, and you can see this is a very sturdy cabinet. It is designed to meet Telcordia 487 specifications, so it's been tested against fire, vibration, uh, earthquake testing, shotgun testing, so it's a very rugged cabinet. It's designed for outside plant use and it's used in a lot of rugged environments like Alaska and northern Minnesota. Um, so it's, very, it's designed for a lot of rugged use in the outside plant. It's also sealed up. There's heavy duty gasketing that I'll show you in a moment that provides the cabinet to stay very, very dry even in moist environments. We have a lot of these cabinets deployed all over the world, a lot of moist environments like down in the Caribbean, and they all stay dry. So uh, in a moment, we will take a look at the inside of the cabinet and the features of the inside of the Hub Collapse cabinet. Now that we've taken a look at the outside of the cabinet, let's examine some of the features and benefits on the inside of the cabinet. The view that you're seeing right now is from the front of the cabinet, and you can see that we have a heavy duty uh, hex head type opening mechanism, and there's also a location for you to be able to use your own locks on the outside of the door. There's a heavy duty wind catch so that the door won't slam in high wind situations and it also locks in place um, to keep your tech safe from the door slamming on them when they're working in here. Uh, as you can see, the cabinet has two different sections. The bottom section is what I'm going to call the fiber termination section. And this will provide up to 120 fiber terminations for your outside plate plant cables to come into the cabinet. It uses our Clearview cassette system, which we'll go over later. But it's built on a 12 fiber cassette system where each buffer tube is going to get its own distinct uh, cassette which makes it easy for your technician to be able to go out and identify which buffer tube and which fiber they're working in. There's also a designation strip which is very easy to read which tells the technician which fiber that they're going to be working with which identification is a huge pro um, feature that you need to have inside your cabinet. We also have a designation card that you can see on the inside of the cabinet 
which can be downloaded from our website in Excel format. The advantage of that is that instead of having a technician go out and use a stubby pencil to write in there that nobody can read, now you can type up your own designation strips and actually adhere them to the inside of the cabinet, and now you won't have any problems identifying which port is which. Um, you can also see inside the cabinet we've used a black ruggedized jacketed jumper. The advantage of this product is that it's very uh, robust and it's great for outside plant use and it maintains its flexibility even in extreme temperatures. It's also bend insensitive so that if you do happen to get a, uh, a small kink in the fiber, it won't bring the service down. Uh, so that's the bottom portion of the cabinet. Uh, the top portion of the cabinet accepts up to 36 LGX footprint type cassettes. The reason why we provided that type of a feature inside the cabinet is that a lot of our communications uh, provider companies that are buying the cabinet, they're closing down an existing structure. So a lot of these components are already in place. This allows them to be able to reuse those components and not have to go out and get new expensive CWDMs, DWDMs, and splitters. They can recycle those components inside of this product. Also, a lot of the manufacturers uh, out there, such as Cisco, they have their own proprietary type optics or CWDMs that need to go inside of the cabinet. So now you can simply go to Cisco, ask them for their component, and put it inside the cabinet. And that's, that's a nice feature for a lot of our customers. You'll also notice on, the, uh, on this side of the cabinet, we have a lot of fiber management. Uh, this slack take up all is designed to reduce uh, any type of chance of micro bends or macro bends. And we've, since we've provided so many different uh, routing options in here, a two meter jumper will go from any port to any port inside the cabinet so you can keep spare jumpers in the back and not have to keep multiple lengths of jumpers on hand to be able to uh, do maintenance moves, adds, or changes inside of the cabinet. Um, so that's basically the inside of the, the front of the cabinet that we've talked about. And uh, next we're going to be moving on to the back of the cabinet and how you can splice your fiber inside of the hub collapse cabinet. Now we're looking at the back of the hub collapse cabinet. Uh, the hub collapse cabinet has a cable entry plate on the bottom which will accept up to six outside plant cables coming into the cabinet. And the way that we maintain the integrity and the, um, to keep the moisture out of the cabinet is we use a seal con fitting whenever you're going to be bringing an outside plant cable up through the bottom of the cabinet. Each seal con comes with multiple grommet sizes depending on what size cable you're going to be bringing into the cabinet. You simply take off the plate bring your cable through the seal con fitting, and now you can take up to 100 feet of cable out to your splice trailer and splice inside of the Clearview patch and splice cassette. What's great about this patch and splice cassette is it reduces overall costs by eliminating the need for a separate splice case down in a handhold or up in an aerial environment. The Clearview cassette ships with a preloaded splice tray and 12 color-coded 900 micron pigtails inside uh, each buffer tube that you're going to bring inside the cabinet is going to get its own distinct Clearview cassette. So now that you have your outside plant cable over inside a nice clean splice trailer that your technicians are going to love, uh, you can bring your outside plant cable, strip off the outer jacket, bring the buffer tube in, strip off a meter of your buffer tube material, and splice onto the 900 micron preloaded pigtails. Once you're done splicing, you attach the cover, gang up as many splice uh, cassettes as you need, bring them back to the, uh, the hub collapse cabinet, screw them in from the rear, and then you store your excess buffer tube in the rear, thus eliminating the need for a separate splice case. Uh, this is a great cost saver. Not only do you eliminate the need for a, a separate splice case, it allows you to use a smaller slack vault next to, the, or, next to or underneath the cabinet. Now you don't need a big, splice, uh, a big vault for that splice case, all you need it, your vault for is for the extra slack to be able to store uh, next to the cabinet. Uh, one of the great access features of the cassette as well is that once the, the fiber is spliced in, if your technician needs to get to the back of the uh, fiber to do any cleaning uh, or maintenance, you can exercise this 12-pack uh, and it takes up the slack around this blue uh, triangle shaped piece that you see here. Uh, it's, it's very kink resistant and tech friendly and won't, uh, you won't have any type of um, accidental failure due to a technician kinking a fiber and not knowing what they're doing. You'll also notice the physical construction of the cassette is clear. Uh, that was designed so that if there was a red light uh, that you have to be able to test faults, you can shoot through the cassette and see any type of a, a blinking light which indicates that you have a broken fiber. Again, what's really nice about this product 
is that it's also scalable. So for example, if you wanted to put this hub collapse cabinet out with 36 fibers right now, you can, this cabinet can ship with three cassettes and you can incrementally grow as you go. So you can scale your, uh, your project uh, down and not spend a whole lot of extra money up front that you might not ever get back um, if, if your subscriber rate doesn't improve. So that's, uh, that's basically how we use our Clearview cassette. Um, if there's any type of a, a unique outside plant consideration where the patch and splice cassette is not usable, we can also provide a pre-terminated stub tail that would leave the cabinet and be able to be spliced in a splice case environment. Um, so we also have a, a ground bar that is located inside of the cabinet for tying off your ground cables. This would be the, the, the method of grounding your cables if you decided not to go with the exterior, exterior ground locate box. You'll also notice the heavy duty gasketing on the outside of the cabinet, uh, which makes the cabinet um, very, very, very well sealed against moisture getting into the inside of the cabinet, which is a huge consideration for a lot of our customers. Again, thank you very much for uh, listening to the product video. And if you have any questions, we also have a webinar available on Clearfield College that goes into more detail on this type of product. Thank you.